Hello, welcome back. In this part of this episode, I'm going to show you how to do the weaving handles. In the previous episode, this was what you learned. You can find the link in the description. So these are the items you are going to need. We need our pearls, scissors, and our fashion line. The fashion line I'm using size 0.5. Let's get started. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, share and leave your comments. So just like we've been doing in the previous episode, first of all, you need three beads. And we use the fourth one in cross threading. So this one is different from how we did the bow tie. So this is the base of it. So you take two tails, one on the left thread, one on the right thread. And use the third one to cross thread. You repeat till we turn, then the whole process change. So we are coming to 10. I am turning two beads will go on the left thread. Then we use the last, so this is how it looks. All the two is on one thread, plus the third one. And we use the third one to cross thread. So you see that the direction of the thread has changed. At this time, at this point, sorry, one is going down, one is going up. So the one which the outer thread, you would pick three B. One, two, three. Then you cross thread on the third B again. So the direction of the thread will change. This is how it will look. Then the inner thread will pass through the immediate bead. Then you pick one bead. This time around we are using two beads. So you pick the first one, then the second one will go in for the first thread. It goes on and on like that. It's a repetition. So you keep doing till you get to the last end. So we are coming to turn and this part of the turning is different from what we did the previous time. Do the same but a little bit different. So the bead will be going on the inner thread. One, two. We are doing it so because we are continuing. So this is our juicer. Then we cross thread. So 
we see we are continuing so we just find it and just like we did for the first time we pick three beads on the outer thread and you use the third bead to cross thread then the inner bead inner fishing line goes into the immediate bead then we continue to we get to the last end and the length will depend on your slippers so we continue to get to the last part is a repetition so at this point you can choose to make a knot or pass the fishing line through so this is how it goes so this is our desired length. So we pass the fishing line through one or two beads, then we will pass the SL stretch. You are not making a knot because you will be sewing it. So assuming you make the knot and you are sewing it. You get to the point where the knot is and you are not able to pass the needle through. That's why we are passing the pressure line through. So this is how it looks like. Then you will cut the excess thread. So this is a weaving mat. That's the handle for the slippers. We are making two. So this is the other one. So we are making two. Thanks for watching.